All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to thank everybody who tuned in the last episode, and you know a few people, a few guys that uh, commented on YouTube um, saying uh, good work and thanks, and I appreciate it. I really do. Um, those things kind of really, really help me, you know, motivate. Like I said I've always not really looked um, for subscribers or advocated or said that hey, make sure you subscribe and shit like that, because you know. I'm going to make this shit either way. And when it comes to Spreaker, it really just matters about your downloads. But still, that's been a steady climbing, people subscribing, and I appreciate that as well. So thank you. And anybody who wants to subscribe, please feel free to keep subscribing. Um, and uh, yeah, if you ever want to see um, videos of me at the very fucking moment, for some reason, I can't be, I can't upload shit to YouTube. Um, I wasn't able to for the longest time. The button is now back on my laptop for me to upload. So I think I lost a privilege at some point for that a while ago. I don't know. So that one recently came back, but I'm having still trouble doing it because they're big files. Um, but I've been able, the only place I've been able to put on two minute videos is, uh, is fucking, um, Jesus, Instagram. So if you want to see any little two minute videos about me, but normally on Instagram, they're basically just, hey, hey I'm going to be live soon or hey. And my next episode's about this, and it's going to be live probably somewhere between this and this. So, But, you know, sometimes they give out some pretty good videos or little bits and tidbits of information. But anyways, hopefully, since I'm able to put the videos back on YouTube now um, via my laptop, hopefully I'll be able to do that shortly on, in, um, on my phone. On my phone, though, there's something else going on because I have it set up to be able to share to YouTube, and it's not letting me share regardless. So I find that pretty fucked up, but it's connected to my phone, and yeah, I can make these big videos on that Nikon camera I got. But um, I just have trouble uploading it, and I don't really know what the issue is. But because everything seems to be working out, mapped out, put everything in, and then just kind of fucks up. So, but regardless, that's where you can check me out. I also have a website, however, I haven't looked at it in a while, and pretty sure sometime last year around this time is when I fucking um, bought the fucking uh, bought the uh, domain for I think it was $7 or $14 I can't remember I haven't done that yet you know, I, I check my email very frequently because my email tells me if I have comments messages anything and everything um, so you know and I'm waiting to see if that is going to say hey you need to renew your subscription I got a lot of things with Google especially my email my Gmail and it was through Google it's a Google do- domain and that's why I have trouble putting on specific things you know they've actually blocked a lot of links just links to videos that they thought were too uh, too bad they tried to actually take down my videos or my episodes on Spreaker um, but because it wasn't theirs Spreaker went to bat and said hey He's allowed to talk about somebody talking about a pedophile. You can't fucking block it off of our fucking shit. And they're like, okay, we can see. But, uh, you know, we're not going to allow him to advertise his stuff on his paid for and bought domain um, through us. So, you know, it is what it is. But anyways, so all that aside, yeah. Coronavirus. That was fucked up. Coronavirus seems pretty intense. Say everybody's going a little crazy about it, but I hope everybody knows now not to worry because let's say, you know, there is something to worry about if, let's say, if you are healthy and you have a good immune system, well, let's just say there is some truth to some of this shit. Well, the worst thing you could fucking possibly do is actually worry about it. So let's just cut that shit out and get back to normal. But obviously that's easier said than done uh, for a lot of people. It's pretty real. But anyways, that's not what this is about. But I actually do talk about that a little bit in my newest episode of No Cold Shit Bullshit. Sorry about this little pointless ranting I are going on and on again. I made this episode to basically just point out that I made an episode on... My newest uh, show, I guess, called No Occult Shit Bullshit. Now, if somebody did end up taking that name and making shows under it, well, I will gladly, especially if they're one of my listeners, I will gladly change it to something else, like uh, 
save a horse riding a cultist or something like that. And you'll know why I say that after you listen to that other episode on no bullshit occult shit. But anyways, this is pretty new. I just made it. Um, first episode's made. I ranked on there a bit about coronavirus at the end, obviously. Uh, but I basically go over, you know, some other stuff. But it's a, it's an introduction to what I'm going to talk about. If you want to check it out, check it out. Feel free. You want to subscribe, subscribe. Feel free. You're free to do whatever the fuck you want. But anyways, so I got three shows now. I'm going to start making magic on a budget shows. I'm going to start making, well, I'm going to keep making ceremonial witchcraft shows. Those are going to probably still be my longest on a cult. No bullshit occult shit will probably be my shortest. And so will magic on a budget. I'm going to try to keep magic on a budget. Just simply things you can do that are free or cheap. Like rituals and things you need. No bullshit occult shit is going to be a basic not philosophy, a basic understanding of principles, laws, and shit that have to do with magic for everybody from the beginner to intermediate. Obviously not above my experience. I talk more about that in the episode, so check it out. And Ceremonial Witchcraft will still be my brand of spirituality and why I do the things I do, why I think everybody should learn from the guys I learned from, and why I think everybody should have their own brand of spirituality. And I teach that by teaching my own brand of spirituality. So anyways, that's enough for this episode. Just a small little fucking shitty one. But just to tell you that, go check out the longer one. I don't know how long it is, but I'm playing some fuck. I'm playing a video from Birch. I'm playing some Bruce Lipton again because I know people need to hear that shit over and over again. Not the same videos, but he does touch on some of the same things a lot. But anyways, my part's first, so at least listen to my shit and then do what you want after. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you check out the new show, No Bullshit Occult Shit, if you wanted to use that name send me a message and I will gladly give it to you and come up with another one. It's okay. I'm one of them creative types. I can come up with new catchy phrases all the time. In fact, you want to pay me to make catchy something for you or be creative for you? By all means, let me know what you want me to do. (laughs) Anyways, hope you enjoy the episode. And as always, have a great fucking day.